We are going out diving today here in Co-PP and the diving is supposed to be absolutely amazing. The snorkeling yesterday was amazing so I'm sure it will be just as good but we are a little bit nervous because we haven't dove in like eight months since we got our certification so we'll see how it goes but we're really excited. First we're gonna fuel up with a mango shake and some pad thai. I am so excited to get back out there and go beneath the surface of the water. I just can't wait to find out what we see. And I'm starting the day out with some fried rice. The food was delicious and now we're on our way to go diving. Ah! I mean, we are certified. We know how to do everything, but it's still just a little bit stressful. 60 feet, that is deep. That is like 18 to 20 meters. That's what they said the dives were gonna be today. So my heart is definitely racing. We're here! Going out onto the pier. Woo! <laughs> the boat is a rockin'. Oh yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go out in a few minutes. I'm ready for it, but I'm still a little bit anxious. We got the whole top of the boat to ourselves. We haven't been fitted for our wetsuits yet. I'm assuming we're gonna do that at a later point on the boat. It's just different than what we did in Mexico when we got certified. We had to get our wetsuits on before we even stepped foot on the boat. Just doing it differently here, which works for us. I'm sure they're bringing them to us, but I feel like my heart's racing really fast. I'm like nervous, but also just really excited. <laughs> so, so excited. This is crazy. Woohoo! Feels like a roller coaster. <laughs> Try not to get too seasick just sitting here, but we shouldn't be here too long. He said it's going to take about 35 minutes to get to the first dive spot, which I'm kind of excited for because we can just stare at the beautiful Thai mountains as we're driving, which kind of feels like a little like tour before the dive. We're moving, it's time. And Jacob and I still have the whole upper deck to ourselves. So I kind of hope it stays this way because it's really relaxing. Ready? I think so. Since it had been a while since we went diving, I had some trouble descending and Jacob and our guide went down way faster than I did. But once I descended down the 60 feet, I was reminded of the extreme calm that diving brings. It truly feels like you are on a completely different planet. We were greeted by thousands of brightly colored fish and a familiar feeling of being completely home under the sea. These pufferfish might have been our favorites out of this whole dive. Their eyes are so cute, but we want to make sure not to get too close to them as they can be extremely poisonous. It doesn't matter how many times I see a turtle in the ocean, I still have the same level of excitement every time. This was a first for us, observing one laying down and eating, so this was the best. The fact that we were so nervous before we got on the boat is funny to us now. There was really nothing to worry about. We did not forget the skills that we learned in Mexico eight months ago. And as soon as we realized just how much fun we were having, we could enjoy the entire experience. Oh 
dolphins just got out of the water. That was so much fun. It is amazing to be back in the water diving. We are taking about a 20 to 30 minute break and then we're gonna be back in the water. They told us we're going to Mushroom Rock. You can't see it out here, but it's below the surface. It's just so great. We saw two turtles, lots of fish. Puffer fish! Puffer fish, yes. <laughs> Man, it, it was just so much fun and, and I, I think I did better than Jenny that time, which doesn't happen very often when we're diving. <laughs> I did have some problems going down, but to be fair, last time we were scuba diving, I had 12 pounds on me, and this time I only had like seven, I think. So as soon as he added another weight in my belt, I was totally fine. I went to the bottom, it was all good, but I was like, I lost my touch for a moment there. Diving might just be one of our favorite activities. It is so peaceful when you are 60 feet down. There is just nothing like it. It is so much different from snorkeling. In fact, we think it's easier than that. Once you understand the techniques, it is such a simple and calm activity and there is almost nothing to worry about. I have wanted to see a moray eel ever since the first time I went snorkeling and I was so happy to finally get the chance to see one. In the blink of an eye, a shark swam past us and it was gone before I could get Jenny's attention. This was the first time that either of us had seen a shark while diving, so I was extremely excited when I saw it out of the corner of my eye. You saw the freaking shark? There's a big boy. For like one or two seconds, yeah. That was a good one. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I freaking wrecked my feet. It got some oh, blisters so right there. Bad. What did you see that I didn't? <laughs> I saw a shark. And the guide said it was a pretty big one in that area. It was a black tip shark. It just barely came into my vision and then it, as soon as I saw it, it just took off. So I only saw it for like one or two seconds, but it was amazing to be that far down and just see a shark in its natural habitat just swimming along. Uh, we also saw a moray eel. That Woo! was really, really cool. Jenny's first one that she saw. I'm so mad I didn't see the shark, but it's fine because I've seen black tip sharks before. So if it was like some other kind of shark, I'd be more mad, but it's okay. Every time after we dive, I just feel like such a cool person. Like, I'm like, I am so cool. Like, that is what scuba diving does to me. It makes me feel like so legit. Nothing like a little drink to cap off the day. Our dive master before we got on the boat was like, hey, you want to grab a drink that we can drink after? And I was like, yeah, sure. Made fun of me if we're not getting a beer, but you know, my pink drink is cute too. It's actually quite good. Future reminder to myself and anyone else, it's not as scary as you think it is in your head. And every time we do it, I get nervous and then we get down there and it's totally fine. We are celebrating our dives by eating some pizza on the beach and it is just perfect. Thailand, we love you so much. We cannot wait to keep exploring. 